Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. So as you can see that I am currently in assembly mode. So let's close this. Now I will go to the design library and click on toolbox. Click on add in now. Now click on NSI metric. Click on power transmission, gears and first gear that I am going to use is internals per gear so when I import it so its module is 1 let's make it let, let's reduce this number to 0.5 you know 1 is fine because it will be easier for you to calculate and visualize it but I need to increase the number of teeth at the as you can see the number of teeth is far less so let's make it uh, on 40 Yep, looks okay. Uh, but you see, this is quite look, you know, quite touchy. So what I will do, I will increase the outside diameter. So 140, say 140. Oh, nothing change. 150. Yep, now value changes. Uh, what about the width? Uh, I don't want to add much of it, so let's change it to 10 mm. Yep, looks great. So this is basically called outside diameter. So to change it, you can simply put the value as per your requirement. Uh, 160 mm is fine for me, and make sure that you use this same standard that I am using. So you know we are all on the same page. Click OK. Uh, if you know, for example, you forget about what are your dimensions, uh, you know, what are these things, simply hover your mouse and you can see that you can read the property. Uh, as you can see, internals per gear 1M. 1M means module 1, 140T means uh, 140T, 20PA means 20 pressure angles. Okay, so I hope you get your doubts clear. Next part is, is called, uh, let's create a one part. So click on here, click on insert component, select the top plane, press control plus 8. Uh, give it a diameter as per your requirement. Uh, in my case, I'm giving it a diameter of 200, uh, 180 is fine, 180 mm and draw a circle of 150mm extrude uh, 30mm select this face, click on sketch select this, click on convert entities Draw a circle again. Uh, one sixty mm this time, and extrude cut. How much? Uh, Five mm is fine, I guess. Click OK. Uh, exit the assembly component mode. Uh, you see that this component is fixed and it cannot be moved. So right click on this part, click on float. Now if I try to move it, yep, I can move it. So select this face and this face. Click OK. Select this face and this face. Click OK. Select this, click on sketch and Draw a straight line and what I have to do, exit this and click on, sorry my bad, you saw nothing, okay, so select this and this, make sure it's concentric, click OK, uh, select this face uh, and go to the features, select the top plane, 
distance 30 mm is fine to pocket so this gear can rotate that is basically what i want and this is fixed okay that's good now what is will be the next step so in the next step i will import you know the diagram square gear notice this model is quite high so let's make it to one now its length is quite big so i will go downwards look at this length let's try 50 mm uh, 50 mm is small let's increase it so 110 mm is fine for me and face width is quite big so 5 mm okay face width is this dimension so my god 10 mm is fine face height so let's make it 5 mm now this seems okay click okay for this select this face press control plus weight now what i will do i will click on sketch sketch uh convert entities press control a not control a select this press control c to copy the sketch click yes okay exit the sketch mode click on here click on insert click on new part select the top plane close press control v extrude boss base uh, 5 mm 10 mm is fine i guess here yeah, time is fine as it is now what i will do remember this sketch i don't want it so right click delete also delete this part a question comes to your mind why i created this part if i have to delete it so here's the thing listen carefully as you will listen or uh, you will do this mistake and you will regret it so the problem is that that i am going to modify this part so if i modify the library part it will ruin my whole library so never never do the modification of that there are ways to do it but they are complex and most of the time you know i ruin my Solbox library so i don't do that kind of thing i basically you know create the part by taking the reference of it so this is my way so this is the way so you can choose your way as per your requirement so right click and delete it Sorry. right click delete oh we got some eight issues let's see distance one okay so right click and uh, delete this one first distance first so whose part is this so right click and delete this one as well so now the error is gone now i have to do some modification with this one select this face click on sketch uh, my bad i'm in assembly mode i basically in the should be in the part mode so select this click on add components part is not material of click ok now before i start working make sure make sure no external references is checked on else you will face a lot of issues don't blame me for that um. make it zero make it 2.5 extrude how much uh, i think up to this surface click ok exit there is some component mode now what i will do i will select this face click on sketch and just draw the shape as i am making
escape, press control A, press control C, copy, yes, exit it. After that, select this part, click on add components, select the pad plane, click on sketch. Okay, right plane is now the right choice. Top plane, click on sketch, front, exit this. Front. Hmm, not getting the right print, that's the issue for me. So select this, press control plus 8. So, press control plus 8. I don't want upside down, it's basically upside down and I don't like it. Press control G. I did the SMB component mode. Uh, I am fetching some issues, so how should I resolve it? So right click sketch. Select this part components. Select this, move entities, move to here, after that select this, uh, rotate entities, uh, 180 degree, click OK, select this, Press control set. First thing that I will do is you know give them dimension so that they don't mess where well I move them. Three mm. Escape, select this line, escape, select this line, by pressing the like this, make it coincidental. Extrude cut through all. Click OK. Looks good to me. Uh, circle pattern. Such features that I want to cut this one. How many? Six is five. Click OK. Added the this thing. One more thing that you have to do is right click, make it fix so that you know this can move forward backward easily. Now let's add a simple spur here. <laughs> okay, let's change this module to one is quite big. If you use suppose say module 1 and this gear has module 2, so they will not mesh correctly. So always make sure that you know that your gear has correct uh, meshing. Go downwards, decrease the nominal sharp uh, diameter to 5 
and the number of teeth as well. Fifteen is fine, I guess. Probably fifteen is fine. So how much will be the face width will be? Let's say thirty. Thirty will be fine. So how should I you know place it correctly here so what I can do I can select the uh, top lane click on sketch uh, draw a circle here give it some diameter how much so how much teeth this has 15 uh, 15 okay so how much should we be away from this one okay it will be confusing Now let's use something called mates. And here, uh, select this face and this face. Now, if you try to rotate it, you will get a wrong result. So, you know, enter the right number of teeth. So, how many teeth this has? Not 160. Yeah, 160, how many teeth this here has? So it has 140. So enter the value of 140. Uh, let's see if it's working or not. Rotate it. Yeah, it's working fine to me. Click OK. Now let's add a rack and pinion. So it's asking for the rack. Select this edge, pinion. Select this. Rack travel per revolution. So let's open calculator. So I know that how many number of teeth I have 15. Module is 1 into 2 into pi. So it will move 94. Point, uh, and it will by circumference two pi r. What is the circumference? It is uh, what is the formula of circumference? We know that is it is two pi r or pi d. So, do I know the diameter of it? Yeah, module is what module is diameter upon teeth. So, how many teeth I have? Uh, fifteen. Uh, how many? Fifteen is short. Let's first verify it. Yes, fifteen is right. So, if 15 is the number of teeth, uh, okay, then uh, because my module is one module is what module is diameter upon teeth. Since my number of teeth is uh, 15, so my diameter will also become 15. So, pi into 15, I will get 47.1238. Put that value here 47.1238. Uh, let's see if it is working or not. Press control Z. It should be here. 
47.1238 yeah it's working fine to me click ok select this phrase press control press 8 uh, notice some issues here that this is not correctly you know aligned so what I can do with it let's see select this sketch right click edit uh, 140 is the uh, 140 is the diameter of this one minus how much uh, 7.5 okay now this is the right answer No, I think that
control press it now what i want to do is click on here click on supply components six click ok uh, let's click on the top plane click on here click on new part select the top plane press control plus 8 <clears throat> so as you can see that I have 5 total plates so what I can do I will draw a arc <coughs> circle three sixty divided by sixty. Thirty degree two sixty. Hi, Ramon. Five mm. As it has any component mode. I will select this part. Click on add components. Click on reference. Click on plane. Select this face and this face. A plane is created at the between. That is basically what I want. Exit it. So in this component, let's see where is the middle space. So select this, click on mate. And what I will do. Mate with this plane. Click OK. Select this face and this face. Select this face and this face. Just make it concentric. Okay, I have issue with it. So right click, click on suppress. The main purpose is just to you know to make it vision there. After that, okay. I did this. Let's add one more. So if I rotate this thing, it will forward backward. So go to the study. Move it up. Go to the fifth frame. By the way, if you want to learn about Solarbox animation and analysis, there is a course link in the description. Uh, right click, uh, disable, increase the FPS to 30. 
Bien, Jorge. Click on Calculate. Now click on Playback website. Play. One more issue that is <laughs> I'm facing. Uh, you know most people will not be able to see them can so right click and change transparency so you know we can see okay my bad so make sure that you do in model mode not in uh, animation back there change transparency set for all and do for all as well right click create on the motion study Uh, right click disable go to the fifth time frame just more to this which was is fine increase that place to 30 Click OK, click on Calculate. So yeah, in that way you can make this your iris mechanism. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.